All right, morning of day two. Here's the crew. A little bit chilly this morning, nice though. Beautiful morning. Just hit seven o'clock. See the guys are already out there digging. Sun's coming up. Gonna be a beautiful day. See y'all in the field. See the sun He's coming, coming out. Find a pipe bowl in the ditch with his face carved on it. <laughs> <laughs> out here digging these trash pits. You can see down in this one I've just opened up. Nice contrast gray ash down at the bottom. It's real nice to see that gray instead of red. Let's see, I'm gonna sift through some of this ash and see what we can PA, find. He's got his wreath. Boy, look at that. Sweet. Cleaned up beautifully. You probably didn't have to do much to it. I just brushed it. it with toothbrush and some toothpick. Woo, man. They say the back of it's a, a different. Exciting. Stuff. Congratulations, right. buddy. That is beautiful. Got my first relic out of the hole here. Besides camp lead, you can see this is a melted three ring mini ball. Mostly still there. See, it was just in the fire, so it melted down. All right. Jimmy Love's gotten into a nice little feature here. You can see there's a barrel van, and then there's a nice ceramic plate. Yeah, it looks like a transfer aware. Still's got a porch up on it. Nice. All right. I think That's it a, might be a Jimmy's good got sign. something good in the hole here. It's round and it's brass. Yeah. There's 380 people. Let's see what you got, buddy. Here. No, it's, it's like a pump. No, it's small. It's too it's small. Like yeah, it's like a rosette, or else it's a tongue for a CS plate. No, there it is. Look at a rosette. Rosette, cool. Beautiful. Woo, nice bullseye rosette. Nice. Oh, yeah. Well done. Yeah, oh, you've got a little right. button in the sidewall here. Just eyeballed it, didn't even hear it with the metal detector. Nice stand up shank. Looks like an eagle coat. All right, All right. David has found the US plate. He was digging a test hole, and uh, lo and behold, there it was. Anything else was in the hole? No. Well, you found the, what we look for in the holes anyway. So, <laughs> and Jimmy are over here. We just had lunch, and you can see Craig's pulled out quite a few goodies from a couple of pits and he's just gotten into this most recent pit you can see some nice broken glass and good concentration he's got some good color on the dirt brown instead of red you can see the ash down here hope you can see that and then lo and behold right after lunch he's scratching and looks like a three ring mini ball right in the ash yes sir right there let's see let's get it out there oh yeah there it is beautiful there. beautiful nice drop that's yeah. a tall one Way to go, baby. Thank you. All right, I'm back up on the hilltop here where I did well two years ago. Found a breastplate up here, digging old fire pits. You can see everybody off in the distance digging. There's a big group out there. A lot of folks opening up trash pits and digging fire pits. It's just a beautiful day out here. A little breeze. You can see the Farley house in the distance. Then I've just gotten into another hole, and I'm not sure yet, but it looks like this was one of my targets in it. But it looks like it's got some good ash mixed in, if you can see that. So hopefully, this will turn into something good. Stay tuned. Right. That's awesome. So what he pulled out here is pretty rare to find one much less what looks like pretty much a coat worth almost cavalry buttons here nice condition too looks like they'll clean up real nice eagle feed all right I'm still working on this little burn pit so far I found a couple of brass screws and some lead and just some square nails ton of square nails I've got a lot of ash down there as you can see still I'm working it out got a lot of roots to deal with but it looks like something with a silver plate in here in the side wall has just started to appear and I'm gonna dig that out a little bit see what we got here it looks interesting whatever it is well, 
it's in there pretty good. Yeah, right on the right on the ash line there. There it comes. Not sure what this is. Oh, look at there. That is an old lid to a ration can. That thing held up well. Look at there. All right. All right. Looks like he may be a little brass item here. Not sure what it is. Here is a root. Here's a root. And here it is right here under the root. It's rectangular in shape. Maybe it's some sort of buckle. We'll see. All right. Not sure what this is. Don't even think it's brass, but looks like I've got it free. I'm about to pull it out. Oh, look at here. Oh, isn't that interesting? Who knows what that was? But it had a purpose, no doubt. Big old piece of iron. All right, All right. just pulled this out of a corner. You see, it's like a band from an, a rifle. You can see the sling uh, buckle there or loop for the strap. Pretty neat. I think it's probably steel or iron, but it held up really well, especially the part that goes around the rifle itself. All right. Oh, that's great. Look at there. Aren't you having trouble finding yeah, a camera? <laughs> nice ink well, baby. You can see some nice intact ration cans and then this big old can and under this can was this beautiful plate. Man, that's a pretty plate. Oh, and this cathedral pickle. You got, yeah, that's iron pot. It's an iron pot. Wow. That's, that's iron pot. Yeah, man. Beautiful, man. Out there. And here's this one. Man, you racked up. Well done. Nice. They don't clean the bottle too good. You take the iron pot and uh -huh. roll And then the inkwell. Very nice. And to have this all in one piece, that's such a big bottle. I'll let you touch it. All right, I'm about at the end of this little fire pit. And Got a good signal here. Well, there it is. See, that's reading pretty good on this meter. That's the first time I've seen this meter read good in this hole. So, we'll see if it's something good actually. Let's see. There it is. It looks brass. Looks like one of those pieces that goes to a uh, belt. Nice heavy brass. All right.